I grew up thinking that Christianity was generically connected to Jesus and what he'd done, but in terms of, of seeing the Christian life as orbiting around the gospel, I didn't really get that growing up. Their parents were pushing them to go to Ivy League schools to get very high SAT scores. They were intellectually capable of handling so much. Yet for some reason, the church decided to keep things very simple and watered down for them. Evangelicalism has chosen to pursue evangelism in a very different way from the way in which Jesus pursued it. The cure was perhaps even worse than the disease. You don't know, you may only be five no's away from your yes. It was kind of the Walmartization of Christianity, driven by business principles. I am a billionaire because the assignment that the Lord gave me, he said, I want you to begin to confess the billion flow. There's no longer any objective agreed basis as to what constitutes Christianity. Young Restless Reformed was a very deliberately chosen phrase. The greatest heresy in the American evangelical and Protestant church is that if you pray and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, he will definitely come in. It's like in one day we started getting these emails about people being saved. I actually listened to the sermon so much I almost had it memorized word for word. There are hundreds of you in this crowd who do not want your life to make a difference. He was asking which people wasted their life. Whoa, that's a really profound question. It speaks to the goodness of God and the wisdom of God in using foolish things to, to magnify his name. The motto of the Reformation was post tenebras lux, out of darkness, light. God is waking his people up. We are hungry for more than just lessons on morality. We need something deeper. We need something more thoughtful. We need something more biblical. We are kids of grace. Calvinism became very attractive across denominations.